Hey what's up guys welcome back this is Ashok from TechEB and today we have our first build of open beta for OnePlus 5. In this video we'll check out the benchmark results and I'll also show you the installation process along with the features what they have added. So let's get started. So first going inside the settings about phone and under this you can see Oxygen OS open beta 1. So this is the first open beta for OnePlus 5 and Android version 8.0 with security patch 1st October 2017. But on their official forum they have mentioned 1st November 2017. I think uh, it's an error from OnePlus. So these are uh, software information and now let's go and take a look on the launcher and the camera whether they have updated to the latest one or not. So long pressing here go to settings and here you can see about me launcher version is 2.2.0 so this is the latest version of launcher from oneplus which have few optimizations and few new additions done to it so that i'll show you first this says optimize the app shortcut style next they say combine icon option with app shortcut so that also i'll show you allow new installation blue dot to disappear after 15 days shell style improvement added update logs under launcher so the last one means they now you can see the update logs if you have any new version of launcher all the change logs can be found here talking about the change logs they, so that they have done few optimizations under shelf uh, that you guys can check it out what are the optimizations next they say now if you long press any application it will give you an option of shortcut shortcut was previously available now you also get few extra options like you can remove the application you can also edit the icon of that application so these things have been added in the latest launcher next going to the camera so the camera version let's check out whether it has been updated or not current version is 2.5.4 so they have not updated the camera application also here the new version is 2.5.2 if you guys want uh, to install that do let me know in the comment section below i'll put up a link uh, on how to install the latest camera so now directly moving on to the change logs and one more thing what they have mentioned in the launcher change logs that the notification what appears on your application will automatically disappear after 15 days if you don't clear the notification after 15 days the notification dot will automatically disappear from the application so now let's go to the change logs so first thing what they say is updated to android oreo that is 8.0 which i have already shown you the device has been updated to android 8.0 still in a beta version if you guys find out any kind of bugs do let me know in the comment section below next they say added parallel apps all these features i have shown in my previous videos uh, if you want to have a complete look then i'll mention few other videos in the description below you can check out those videos but we'll just take an overview on what things have been added in android 8.0 so they're talking about parallel apps so that can be found in applications you have parallel app so it says empty list but uh, let me just check out i don't have any application installed i'll install one of the application like uh, whatsapp so now i have already installed whatsapp and uh, this feature supports most of the application so we go to parallel apps and you can see now whatsapp is available here i just have to select this and it will create one more application for the same now i can use two two numbers on my device so just going down you can see one is the main application and other one is the parallel app which i have recently created so it works with facebook twitter and uh, many other applications you guys can try it out and uh, use this latest feature of android oreo next you have is autofill service so autofill service also i'll just take an overview because all these things i have mentioned in almost all the videos and i have shown the demo also so the autofill service can be found here you just go to search and type for autofill and here you have an option of autofill service with google so this is something like if you have any application like facebook or twitter you don't have to type the complete password you just have to tap the empty space it will automatically generate your username and id if you have login before using the same application next they say is added picture in picture mode this topic is always asked and uh, many of the users are telling that it doesn't work yes guys i have been mentioning in all the videos this won't work in youtube because it requires youtube red subscription if you don't have that it does not work on normal youtube maybe this can be added in android 8.1 or further updates 
next you have added smart text selection so smart text selection i'll just show you one of the example so i type any of the number and i just have to double tap it the device will automatically recognize that it is related to phone app and it will give a pop-up to me to open the same app and same goes for the address you can see i have typed an address i just have to completely select the address and you can see it pops up uh, for the application which is required for the text selected so this is smart text selection next you have new quick setting design that if you guys have seen my previous videos you can see now you have six styles available on the status bar and after that they say updated security patch to november which is not updated as per the system info software info you can see here android security patch level is 1st october 2017 and secondly they have launcher under which they say add a notification dot yes you can see if i have any notification available for the application i can see a dot on the right top corner and you have new app folder design so that means if i just place this two applications together now you have a new design that is a round design which was previously in a square shape now able to upload photos directly to shot on oneplus so if you take any photo now you'll get an option to directly upload it to shot on oneplus you can see the option over here and one more thing which i wanted to tell you guys that they have not added face unlock feature in this one if you guys are aware i had made a video on one of the room which was a leaked rom and that was oxygen os 5.0 based on android 8 so that had a feature of face unlock i don't know why they have not added in this open beta update hope they may be getting in the stable build and if you guys want to install that rom you can just check the description below i have made a separate video on that how can you install it and what are the features available on that rom and now i'll show you the benchmark results we'll compare it with the oxygen os 5.0 which i had installed yesterday so i just did a benchmark test using geekbench 4 i go to the history and these are the benchmark results single core it scores 1918 and multi core it scores 6109 but towards the right hand side you can see that was taken on oxygen os 5.0 for oneplus 5 so there is not much of difference that does not really matter you guys if you want to use the open beta you can use this and if you want to go with the extra feature which is available in the description below you can check that rom and go with that oxygen os 5.0 both of them are stable i did not find any kind of bugs on both of the room so now i'll show you the installation process guys download the file from the description below and place it inside the internal storage so you can see this is the file which i have downloaded and which is available inside the internal memory so what i do is after that if you guys have stock recovery then you can follow this method and if you have twrp recovery you can just go to the twrp recovery and flash it using the same so i go to system update and here i go and do a local upgrade after that i'll get the room which i have placed inside the internal memory and i hit on upgrade now your device will complete the process in somewhere around four to five minutes if you are on android 7 then make sure to do a factory reset that will avoid force close and bad performance so guys as of now that's all in this video if you like the video do give me a thumbs up and if you are new to my channel do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day